What's going on? It's Spooder TTV. I got my girl Sunny MF. Yes, she is one of the artists yeah, that was yeah. in one of my first show in Cyphers, the actual digital Cypher <laughs> that we did on YouTube. How you feeling? Yes, I'm feeling good. How you doing? Feeling good. You know, ahead. feeling good, feeling great. Yeah, yeah. In the A, feel real good. You know hey, I mean? in the A from LA. You know what I mean? Already know. <laughs> so, what we going to do? I got a little game from a girl called Do a Drink. So, <laughs> either you do what it say on the card or drink. But All you can't right. be doing too much drinking. You gotta, you know, have a little fun with yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah, true. Okay, so hmm, let me see. I guess let's start off with okay. <laughs> so reveal to every sing, reveal to everyone every single drug you've done or drink twice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> At least give us three, okay, besides we. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right, I got a good one. Okay, <laughs> so it says, and y'all can go play this game too because you play it with friends, it's fun. Okay. Let someone record you fingering your belly button and moan like you're having an orgasm or finish your drink. <laughs> God damn. Jesus, what is this? <laughs> Where do you get these freak ass questions from? Finger my belly button. I got an any too? No. <laughs> All right, I got, I got to go. I got to go. Okay. So what you could do, you could do it probably in place right here too. So <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Twerk for 15 seconds or drink. <laughs> Let's drink. No, you be twerking so on Instagram. You be on Instagram there with whole go. lace fronts and. There you go, bam. What's that little dance they be doing? Oh, uh, the yeah. Santana. Ah, there, we <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all girls do. They twerk and be like, that's all you get. That's all. That's all. All right, she gave us a little taste. You all right, know, it's bam. Cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> she failed at do a drink, so hopefully she is drinking and tipsy. But I got a question though, because when I met you years ago, you were Sunny MF Solomon. So yeah. why did you drop the Solomon? Uh, why did I drop the Solomon? It was long as hell. The name was long as fuck, number one. And, um, I remember, I, <laughs> that, this is not a reason why, but I remember I was like, uh, I told my brothers, and, and I was like, y'all got to get out the mud. They can't. No. <laughs> 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 Our last name's the same and shit. I got to get out the mud. But no, nah, honestly, just because it was too long, mm -hmm. and, um, Sunny MF just rolled out the tongue better. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, when I first met you, okay, I, I believe, I don't know which series of events was first, but I know I seen you off, like, the half Life Freestyles with Mike Sig used yeah, to do. Yeah, yes, yes. And you were promoting a song, Detox, at, a time, at yes. that time. And you had, like, a whole rollout. Yeah. Like, it was about, like, relaxing and stuff yeah. like that. And I feel Mental like. Mental health and stuff. Yes. Yeah. And you've been on the concepts and you've been on, okay, let me bring an experience as an artist. Let me Definitely. bring something outside of just the music to yeah. artists. Definitely. Because the music is like, you know, it's really all about the rollouts and, you know, giving, like you said, giving people the experience. So I tried to definitely dive into that because um, the music's always going to be there. But everybody, we in this day and age where everybody making music. So you kind of got to like stick out in some type of way. And I, li I like to use my rollouts for that reason. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of rollouts, you be having yellow everywhere. You got on yellow <laughs> right now. Yes, you are yes. the sun. You know, hey. It's, yellow's always been my favorite color, so I was just, like, trying to find my brand, and I was doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff for, like, labels and stuff, so it really just made me understand marketing and branding a lot more. So when I finally, like, I forget what, when I finally just hit me, and I was just like, bet, like, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and it just, it just made sense, you know what I mean? Definitely. Okay. And speaking of all, like, the behind-the-scenes working with labels and stuff, I know when you were in Atlanta, because... I remember you used to run around with, like, 40. Like, well, y'all used to do a lot of shows together. You know, 40's one of my business partners. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You were heavy back then, like, doing shows on Edgewood, you know, yeah. that scene. Um, and then I remember, like, okay, being... I would say I remember seeing you doing, like, shows with 40, but then yeah. I ended up being a part... Like, coming to experience your detox rollout. Then I was hearing that you got into songwriting. Yeah. So I remember that was around the time when I was hitting you up for the cypher. So yeah, yeah. what made you like go through other avenues and like music? Um, it's just 
honestly, I was like um, trying to find new ways to fall back in love with the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, being an artist, it can seem like a never ending race. So mm -hmm. you just constantly doing stuff or like, you know what I mean, on the treadmill, you know what I mean, going nowhere fast mm -hmm. for a minute. And I was just was like, you know, I was getting tired of, you know, the whole artist thing and like, oh, ain't no one fun with me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, doing that stuff that everybody yeah, do I mean, when they get frustrated. Yeah, so it was just like, instead of quitting, I just needed to find new ways to fall back in love with the process. So it just made me uh, attack the songwriter thing a little bit harder. And I got my placement, you know, with Kiki Palmer, with uh, Tasha Couture. Shout out to Tasha, that's my dog. Shout out to her. We yeah, just... She we just had a couple of interviews where she's mentioned a couple of times. She's probably mentioned in at least like five of my interviews. Yeah, man. Tasha's amazing. Like, uh, we got a project coming out, um, mm. before this year out. So yeah, it was like just full circle moment. You know what I mean? And like, she's amazing. And, the fact that she let me, you know, come in. Because I really started, I got in her songwriting camp just because you know, I had my camera and I was doing behind the scenes of it and stuff. Mm. So I remember um, you had, I remember hitting you up, asking you about cameras, and you were giving me advice like, this is why you should get a Sony. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Sony is the best. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, you know, and then I started knowing a couple people at the writing camp. Then I ended up start writing on some records, and the record I wrote on got, you know, sticky, got placed, ended up being a single. They put, you know, Coyle Ray on the remix. It's before I even really, anybody kind of really knew who Coy really was. And, I mean, it's history. It's history. History. Let's talk about the exciting stuff. So you were featured on Issa Rae's show, Rap Shit. Yes, yes. Which is a show kind of, I, I don't want to say it's based on, like, City Girls. I know they exec, may have executive produced it yeah. or were involved with yeah. it somehow. Yeah. Okay. First, let's talk about your transition from Atlanta to L.A. Because I literally remember you tweeting and talking about it. So, like, what made you say, okay, I'm tired of it. And like you said, things can kind of feel like you on a treadmill. All right, let me take my talents to L.A. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. I felt like I had reached my cap in Atlanta. It was like, all right, everybody know who I am. Everybody know what I'm doing or what, at least what I'm trying to do. And I was like, you know, if anyone really wanted to rock with me, uh, you know, build build with me I felt like it would have happened by then and so I was just like you know it was just time to expand the brand and and go to LA and then it was during pandemic so it was like you know what if the world about to end um my world ended in LA pretty much you feel uh -huh. what I'm saying <laughs> but it was really the best decision I ever made in my life honestly just moving out there taking that taking that trip and taking that leap of faith honestly um and just going and doing the damn thing and it's just been up ever since yes <laughs> and then when you did easy money for <laughs> the show rap shit was that like a song did you do that saying okay already in my like okay this is going to get pitched let me write because i know sometimes people write songs to fit certain descriptions definitely and movies and shows and yeah. stuff like that so it was that type now of it you know it was that because when i made it it was like <clears throat> I made it originally to get on Insecure because I had mm. just moved to L.A. and I was, like, really in the L.A. vibe. And um, I was binge-watching a lot of Insecure, and I was just like, oh, man, you know, I understood what type of music they was picking mm -hmm. just because I was living there. I was like, okay, I understand, you know, the music supervision of the show. It's real bouncy. L.A. got that type of vibe. So I was like, I wanted to make something fun, cool, cute, like, you know, mm -hmm. something that'll fit in that. But, you know, like I always say, uh, you know, God got bigger plans, mm -hmm. and... Um, um, when uh, when Insecure had their final season, I was like, dang, boom. But I, I heard, you know, I heard that they was working on rap shit. And they, I, I actually, like, slipped my mind that they was even working on that after, you know, Insecure. And um, I was, like, looking into, like, who was a part of her team, like, who's her music supervisor. Shout mm. out to Sarah. Uh, they did research. Yeah, definitely. I had got an uh, IMDb Pro account. And I was just... IMDb Pro account? Yeah. Girl, we, we, we trying to pick all these <laughs> Okay. And, um, like, I was looking at, you know, music supervisors, and I was, like, trying to see, you know, who's on her team because as much as everybody want to reach Issa you know what I mean her team has made her who she is today too mm -hmm. so you know Facts. and like she said it's always good to network across versus mm -hmm. networking up so I network across and got her uh you know got her uh music supervisors Instagram followed her DM'd us and I'm like oh man she's like oh I want to work with y'all do 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 and I was trying to go to the writing camp but she didn't see it until after the fact and um she was just like you know I keep your mind other things do 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 follow me back months later she hit me up with a link asking me to like upload 
uh, some music and shit like that. So I was like, all right, bet. I, I was uploading everybody's music, my music, some of my friends' music, mm. <clears throat> songs I had wrote for other artists because mm-hmm. I, I wasn't quite sure what it was for. But mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I'm always a type to extend an opportunity mm-hmm. to other people if I if I know of something. That's real. And um, like I think a week later, she DM me was like, hey, what's your number? And she had called me and was like, yo, Issa loved e- Easy Money and want to feature the song as well as me on the show. And I was just what? like, yo, it's crazy, crazy DM. How was that day being on set, like, performing it? It was surreal, man. And, and like I said, it was really during the pandemic, so I had it performing in a very long time, and I, I was hot as hell. I was sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, I ain't performing so long. But, I mean, it was amazing just um, just to run that scene over and over. Shout out to uh, Sade. She was real cool. She was the, the director of the uh, of that episode and like everybody was real cool we ran it back like a couple times and I was, it was just surreal you know and but it's work at the end of the day mm-hmm. so me and Issa we didn't really get to talk uh on set because you know, everything moves so fast you right. get your shot you once they got the shot I was like all right cool right. we on to the next and then I end up seeing Issa uh at the airport and we end up chopping it up and that was amazing so I mean I, it was just dope that she even knew who I was I didn't even like have to introduce myself and that's that's still surreal too to me, like being out and people are like, oh, I know who you are. And that happened a couple times. I mean, that happened with uh, Seven Streeter. Mm. And we was out and I was like, oh, what's good? I'm sorry. And she's like, I know who you are. I was like, oh. oh. So, you know what I mean? So I'd be forgetting. It's like, yo, niggas really know who the fuck I am. I'm really out here doing what I need to do and people familiar. You know what I mean? So that's a beautiful thing. It's definitely fire. That makes you so warm. I'm sitting next to a star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, when we get into like film sync placements, things like that. Yeah. I know you were saying on Twitter that you were gonna start a course, um, kind of teaching artists or teaching people how to get into that stuff or certain yeah. you can probably explain more about what you plan Yeah, to. I'm still like in the process of getting everything together mm-hmm. for it. Um, but I definitely am gonna um do a put a course out for artists to buy and just, you know, the whole ins and outs and giving out tips and as well as contact information and stuff like that. So it's still, like, in the nitty-gritty, really, the beginning stages. I got to start um, put, getting the lesson plans and everything together. But, yeah, I'm super excited to uh, do that, for sure. Okay. What's the SAG Afro? Am I saying it right? SAG Afro? Yeah, SAG. Uh, what, AFTRA? AFTRA? Yeah, okay. some, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I know, right? Um, but that's pretty much, like, the union for actors. So, um, like, once – because some – some movie sets and some people won't hire you unless you are sad. Mm-hmm. And, um, like doing that role got me automatically sad. So, uh, mm-hmm. like, cause sometimes you got to do like three to four things to get that. And okay. so being at that was such a big role on a big network and with each and them, um, I was able to qualify for it right then and there. So yeah, it's just a lot of opportunity within just being a part of the union. So, right. Cause I was yeah. researching it was a union. Yeah. 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 So it's fire, man. When I got that, I was like, damn, I'm really out here really out here son (laughs) (laughs) i know like during the pandemic too i would see some of your posts and it was really funny like how okay you would make posts like you like we said earlier you'll be having like a lace front or you'll (laughs) make like jokes about like i guess like lesbian women i don't want to say certain terms yeah but like what just made you like what was like the comic relief or what just made you like start doing stuff like that because i feel like everybody would be in the comments like other women would be in the comments like this shit funny like they'll be able to relate and stuff like that yeah um i always been like a class clown my mm-hmm. whole life so it really was just like it just was normal honestly I'm, i've been this person <laughs> i've been this nigga for a very long time you know what i mean like i'll be having to tell people that like, i've really been this nigga for a very long time class clown just you know uh vibrant and all that but like i said ever since i was a kid i always wanted to do like mad tv all that so i've always i've gotten in trouble for years for being a class clown i even got kicked out of my high school for like making youtube videos i was talking to my homegirl earlier today who i went to high school with and i was like i was first nigga kicked out for content man before oh content <laughs> before content was content man you feel me so yeah that's <laughs> my mama was mad as hell about that like youtube videos yeah youtube videos <laughs> speaking of you getting the tv you were a part of like a film in Atlanta called Praises, like Chloe. Bates. Oh yes, 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 yes! Shout out to Chloe and uh, Tina Davis, Will Packer, yeah, yeah. So I um was part of the music team on that on that movie. Um, so I was here for about like two months doing the pre-records, and it was crazy because I just had an interview at another podcast, and they 
had their um, podcast set up at the studio oh, that we okay. were working out of. And I was just like, oh, look at this. Like, <laughs> we'll circle I know, for real, for real. So that was fire, you feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, the whole process of um, recording and sync, it's just a beautiful thing. And, I mean, I was just, I'm just in awe of even just being there and watching everything come together, being in the studio with all the artists and seeing how they really do, like, musical movies, how they really do record everything. And then, you know, you go out on the field and play back. It, it, was, it was a lot. It was complicated and sometimes, but, you know, it was fire. Definitely a learning experience for sure. Yeah. And then what else does Sunny MF have coming up? I saw you dropped another single back in like April of this year. Was it this year? Yeah, yeah. I was dropping like songs every month, uh, beginning of this year up until I think my last one was like April. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm working on a project, like I said, with uh, Tasha Tour. The project's pretty much done. Uh, it's just, it is done. Um, it's just, now I'm going to get some features, though. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get some remixes going on on there. Um, <clears throat> but it's going to be out before this year. And I'm super excited about it. It's fire as fuck. Like, it's called Hollywood, um, starring me and Tasha Couture. I got a pulled from the uh, cartoon Fairfax on okay. Amazon Prime. So they kind of gave me the idea because I love that show. I was been binge watching that show i watch a lot of tv versus listening to music because i really try not to get too inspired by you know other people's sound Mm. and to the fact that i would like i've never heard that before yeah to the fact that i kind of like will recreate it because you know everything inspiration so um but man this project is dope it's fire it's definitely something for sync honestly um when i was uh making it i was thinking of the sync opportunities that's how i pretty much been moving lately especially since it's, that's where the money is for real. You feel what I'm saying? Especially for artists, independent artists, you you know, y'all mm-hmm. always trying to find ways to mm-hmm. make money. They be like, oh, merch show shows. But Issa Rae be showing so much love to independent artists. When man, well, her, her team shows man, so much love. Her team, like I said, Issa really has the best team ever. Like, shout out to Sarah. Philippe, Noni, I mean, they're amazing. You know what I mean? And they know what the fuck they're doing over Mm -hmm. there. That's the best thing about it. They Mm -hmm. know exactly what they're doing over there. And um, because film and music go hand in hand, Mm -hmm. you know. So, um, you know, being able to work with them and share ideas with them is amazing. Um, So, man, we got some things in the works over there. Sunny MF and radio. (laughs) So, yeah, I'm definitely. Oh, Sunny MF radio? No, I'm saying Sunny MF and radio. And radio. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the name of her label. label. (laughs) Right, right, right. I'm about to say, wait, wait, what? Yeah. (laughs) You know, I would, but not right now, not right now. I want to dive more into, like, you know, creating music and vibes and stuff. But I'm definitely looking to dive more into the acting for sure, though. That's 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 where I'm at with it for sure. Okay. And y'all make sure y'all stay up to date with Sunny and Mev. Make sure y'all follow her. It's a spill to TTV. Y'all want to see who's next. If y'all rocking with her interview, y'all want to check out anything that she got going on, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Leave something in the description and make sure you text me at 770-765-5422. Me and Sunny MF, we out. Hey. Hey.